Cameroon achieve the greatest prize in the game. Today's friendly with France will be a really good test for them. Only five of the French teams started the Euro 2000 final. Blanc and Deschamps have retired from international football, while notable injury victims include Zidane, Barthez, Dugarry and Jokayev. Frank Leboeuf gets a chance to take on Laurent Blanc's role in defence, but T and Miku are leading the auditions for Deschamps' role. Desai is a new captain. The bulk of this Cameroon side were victorious in the recent Olympics. Nearly all are earning their livings from playing European football now. And two famous penalty takers here, Rigobert Song, who converted the winning spot kick in the African Nations Cup final against Nigeria, and Pierre Wome, who did the same in the recent Olympic final. And from the gold medalist of Cameroon to France's own Olympic gold medalist, David Douillet, who ceremoniously gets the match underway. Full house in the Stade de France. David Trezeguet will lead the French attack with Thierry Henry and Sylvain Viltour. In their last friendly, France drew 1-1 here with England when Laurent Blanc and Didier Deschamps played their last international for their country. Here's a new captain then. Marcel Desailly, Frank Leboeuf, hoping to slip into Laurent Blanc's position in the heart of the defence. Turan drives it forward. the European champions against the African champions, the world champions against the Olympic champions. The TZ is in goal for France today in place of Fabien Barthez. That's quite a memento, Zinedine Zidane's number 10 shirt for David Douillet. Trezeguet. Vieira. Vicente Lizarazu. Trezeguet waiting for the cross, and uh, Henri took one touch too many. Rigi Bersong, the captain of Cameroon. Idris Kameni, the goalkeeper of the Olympic team. Hero of the final. Roger Le Maire, the coach of France. Took over from Aimé Jacquet. Eto'o, holding the ball up well. Petit sliding in, trying to win possession, but Cameroon hang on to it. Mark Vivian Foe. Well, mate. Cameroon doing well here. France haven't had a touch of the ball for a while. Run back by the very strong Patrick Vieira, who's drawn the foul and won the free kick. This is where Vieira is so important to France. Shoved off the ball and ceremoniously there by Najanka. Is it as a Johan Miku? Wearing Zinedine Zidane's number 10 shirt, with Zidane sidelined through injury. Lizarazu again. Miku. Song quickly across. Lizarazu dangerously in. Viltord just needed a touch there, and Viltord might have been in for the opening goal. Leboeuf. Wiltord stayed in an offside position, but there was real danger here for Cameroon. Taken eventually by Bukar, their goalkeeper. Majanka plays his club football in France. Pierre Wurme. And the boot there of number 10, Bomber, very high indeed. Miku, Thierry Henry, back to Miku, and just one or two signs of France displaying the sort of fluency they showed at Euro 2000. Remember so many faces from the Euro 2000 final team missing tonight. The team. Desai. 
Lillian Turrell. Patrick Vieira has helped it through. Viltor, there's going to be a goal here. And it's scored by Sylvian Viltor. He scores his seventh international goal, and it's all to do with the link-up here between Vieira and Viltord, and Viltord's acceleration to take the ball away from Buka. And while the Cameroon defence hesitated, Viltord squeezed the accelerator to give himself the chance of this relatively easy tap-in. Vivian Foe. France, incidentally, play again at the weekend when they go to Johannesburg to play a friendly against South Africa. So, two African opponents in the space of a few days. Mark Vivian Foe. Wome. Pulls away from Turan. Very left footed player, so when he gets inside onto his right foot. He just never knew what to expect. There's the French coach of Cameroon. Rigibert Song, the Liverpool player. Cameroon just beginning to fizz their passes together now. You tap. Almost cut in two there by Vicente Lizarazu. I'm not sure what Lizarazu could have done then, and the expression on his face suggests that. You tap, uh, cut inside him was cut about waist high. <laughs> Two man wall. Detap will take this free kick. Taken easily by Lionel Letizzi. The Paris Saint Germain goalkeeper. Leboeuf. That's a very poor ball indeed, given away to Eto. Another poor ball given away to Miku. Henri. France need to stay on side here. Thierry Henri. The goalkeeper went to ground and Rigobert Song eventually took the ball away, but really Henri should have made it 2 0. Lovely give and go here for Thierry Henri, linking it with Johan Miku. Najenka tried to get back. The goalkeeper was brave here. And Najenka and Song got the ball clear. Well, mate. Eto is round to Soy. Good save by Latizzi. Eto did ever so well. His acceleration took him clear of the French captain. And then he was one on one with the goalkeeper. He might have pulled the ball back here, but he sensed glory and rattled the ball against the glove of the keeper. Still 1 0 to France. Lillian Turin. Nothing to suggest Cameroon have been overawed here by the world and European champions. Indeed, they've played some nice football and probably count themselves unlucky to be a goal behind. Rigobert Song. Was a foul there by Frank Leboeuf on Olembe, number 20. The player who plays in France, club level. Plays for not. Olembe to take the free kick. Three here is Wormy. Turns Viltor, and away by Frank Leboeuf. I'm sure Leboeuf didn't get a call from his goalkeeper, Latizzi, because the ball was aimed in towards the French keeper. Wome with an enormous throw here. And Bouma, oh, what a goal! A stunning strike by Patrick and Bouma.
And the huge African contingent in the crowd of the Stade de France rub their eyes because they haven't seen a goal like that here for some time. Four French defenders were bypassed by this long throw, but not Ngoma. And the player who's just signed for Parma in Italy's Serie A scores a quite stunning goal. Lebeuf. Shut down by Wormay, only as far as Petit. And the Barcelona man claims a corner kick. Their song complaining. And at half time, the teams are level, and given the overall balance of play, that's just about right. But the outstanding goal has been scored by Cameroon. And although France took the lead, they're sharing the honours at the break. The half time score from the Stade de France is 1 1. 1 1 between the world champions and newly crowned Olympic champions at half time and Cameroon to restart the game against France in this international friendly. Cameroon has started their World Cup qualifying campaign strongly. Played two games so far, beating both Libya and Angola 3-0. With the teams in the group, Zambia and Togo. Cameroon would be overwhelming favourites to qualify for the World Cup in Japan and Korea. Berth helped the ball forward. David Trezeguet, uh, who scored the golden goal in the Euro 2000 final. And here's Lizarazu, who's joined the attack. Miku. He's under pressure here. A little bit too much pressure, according to the referee, who's awarded France a free kick. who joined Palmer from Bordeaux this summer. Timmy meet and drink to uh, Buka. Walter has already scored one goal. Lebeuf. Lebeuf might find his place in this French national team under threat from Lillian Turam, who plays in central defence for his club side, Palmer. So just because Laurent Blanc has retired now doesn't mean to say Le Berf can expect to be picked in that position every time. Henri, he's got round the Janka, tried to pull it back to Trezeguet. Petit! Good incisive move there by the world champions. Started by Thierry Henri and finished by Manu Petit. All set up nicely for Petit. Yeah, woman. 30 yard ball. This way he won it. Miku, Petit. Run off the ball, though. And it's back with Wurme again. Olembe. And there's an opening here for Eto. Great save by the keeper. And Alembe couldn't force the follow-up into an unguarded net. Great run here by Alembe. Held the ball on to Eto. Who just wriggled away from uh, Leboeuf. And the goalkeeper made a brave stop. Got a kick on the head for his troubles as well. France again. We will play forward towards Laurent Robert, who's come on as a substitute now. The Paris Saint-Germain player. Always find the referee gets in the way just at the wrong time. And a change of goalkeeper too. Letizy off, and it's Dutruel on his place, the Barcelona keeper. Corner to France. Le Berf almost got there. Petit. Makaleli, Miku, Makaleli again. Good pressure here by the home side. Makaleli's cross. Oh, they all missed it. Desai's in there. 
And it was, I think, Robert who had the final attempt on goal. Corner kick to France. It's still one each. are baying for another French goal now just to seal the victory remember the last game played here between France and England ended 1-1 and that's the scoreline once again here's Vieira oh that's a dreadful ball he's given it away helped on by Mboma and Eto's clean through on goal is this a winner saved by the substitute goalkeeper Dutruel and really that could have been curtains for France and it's Samuel Eto who scored in the Olympic final who raced clear of Vieira, one of the quickest players in European football. But he couldn't force the ball around Richard Dutruel. Vieira always strong in the tackle. It's going to be another free kick to France. Makaleli was a player who was uh, knocked over then. Robert. Delightful turn by Johan Miku. Rigobert Songa appeared to be pushed off the ball. No free kick to Cameroon, who given the ball away in a dangerous position here. Julie! Well, that's a rather dubious piece of goalkeeping, but Julie, who's come on as a substitute here for France, one of the smallest players in the French league, almost scored a goal. And he wrapped his boot around the ball. Leboeuf, misdirected header. We tied it up nicely by Lillian Tilham. Julie. Rigobert Song. And he had to be fierce into the challenge and a bit too fierce for the referee's liking. He's collided with Miku and the referee has shown a yellow card here which doesn't happen too often in a friendly game because Song went in with his studs showing. And Miku is being stretched off. This is a worrying moment here for the Palmer player. And it's Jetu who replaces Miku. Lovely ball in towards Henri. Carla missed the ball, so too did the goalkeeper. And Carla wants to know why the keeper didn't call for it. Vieira. Can he find the vital opening now for France? Robert. Robert looking for the corner kick and uh, Cameroon wouldn't give him that option. Vieira again has had a very strong game in midfield for France. New tap. Cut across Vieira's path and then there was a bit of pulling and shoving going on. But in the end it was a handball. Clearly. Robert with a free kick for France. Still 1-1. Goalkeepers completely exposed, and Desai rushed into the back post, and the French captain unable to force his header on target. Again, some very uncertain goalkeeping here, and France just unable to take full advantage. Wenger, the manager, the interested spectators, no doubt. Robert. Vieira. Given away there rather disappointingly. Najanka. Chased by Vieira. Look at this covering by Patrick Vieira. Turam. What a defensive pair those two are. Turam and Vieira.
matchup. Desai quickly across. Another terrific defensive player. They really have an outstanding crop, the French national team, and so many players waiting in the wings to take their turn as well. Like Jetou from Monaco. Song. And France struggle to get it clear here. Song with the header away by Le Boeuf. The two jittery moments in there. Nobody took control of that situation as the ball bounced in the box. Song. The deep inside stoppage time now as France counter attack. And that's the last action of the game, it ends level. The meeting of the Olympic champions and world champions ends at one apiece. Both goals coming in the first half. And the goal of the game, that extraordinary overhead kick from Patrick Mboma. After France had taken the lead, it ends 1-1.